All right, Dad, just talk about the old line and it, it has performed pretty well this year. Uh, what's your assessment? Well, uh, through, um, you know, we've played five games. Uh, it's been uh, uh, a work in progress. Uh, each week uh, they've seen something uh, different from uh, each team. But, uh, you know, the, the, the biggest thing with this group is uh, they like to play. Uh, they come out there, they put a smile on their face, and, you know, after, uh, during the game and after, and then the next day when I'm grading the film, we go over there, I said, you know, they tried, they don't quit, they have a smile on their face, they do play hard, uh, which uh, is uh, very, very important uh, to me, and, and uh, my opinion is, is the, uh, more than uh, the battle, is to get the kids to play hard. And uh, they do play hard, and they, they like to be around each other, and they do have a smile on their face. When, you, when you're rotating guys in there, though, you're, you're not seeing much of a drop-off, are you? Uh, no, that's why the guys are rotating in there, because if there was a drop-off, guys wouldn't be going in. But they're, you know, that's why they got to go in, and they got to perform at that level. And then it's, uh, you got to get um, a rotation. It's where, obviously, when uh, we go out, uh, we grade it, and then uh, on Sunday, you say, okay, this, you know, we had 80 plays in the game, and so-and-so played 40, this one played 60. So you're trying to keep some guys fresh is what you're trying to do because it is a long season. So that's, uh, that's why there's been a rotation. Is that depth showing up in the second half, the fourth quarter, where you guys are still getting the push that you need to, yeah, that, that, to run the ball and things like that? Yeah, that, that's the idea behind that is to make sure that those guys are fresh in the, in the fourth quarter. And I mean, uh, you look at defensive linemen. I mean, this week, uh, Maryland's going to play a lot of guys. I mean, everybody we played against rotates guys in there. We rotate guys in here at Purdue at the D-line. So we decided we're going to rotate some O-linemen through the game, uh, trying to keep guys fresh and uh, take some uh, wear and tear off of them. How's Gus played this year? Uh, he's done uh, uh, well. Uh, he wants to be a uh, all Big Ten guy. Uh, he he uh, wants to do it. And uh, uh, thankfully, uh, we recruited him and got him to come to Purdue. And uh, now he's uh, been here a little bit. You know, he has a lot of experience, and uh, he's doing well. With that being said, it's week five. You know, this is uh, week six, so we'll be the halfway, this halfway point. So it's a long season, so he's got to keep it up. What has Daniel Johnson brought to the right tackle spot? Oh, Daniel Johnson um, has, has brought a lot because he's brought depth. Um, he's played a lot. He's played at the previous institution. So, you know, thankfully, went out and recruited Daniel Johnson, got him to come here, and uh, he's playing a lot, and he's uh, doing quite well for us. How, can, how good can Marcus be? As good as he wants to be. You know, Marcus Boak can be as good as he wants to be, and I've said that before. And, uh, you know, he has a big-time smile on his face. He's got a uh, great attitude, and he likes to play football. So he, uh, um, he's as good as he wants to be. Could he be your best lineman you've coached at Purdue? Could he be? Uh, yeah, he could be if he decides to continue to work at it. But as you know, over the course of time, things change. You know, guys get an attitude. Their head gets too big. So it's my job, as I like to tell them, uh, when I quit demanding, you stop giving. So I'll never quit demanding. So I'll make them keep uh, giving, giving, and giving. Yeah. What was uh, your reaction on Maccabee's 68-yard run last week? Oh, it was uh, pretty good because, uh, you know, uh, we were running down the sideline. So it was a good reaction. Yeah, it was a, it was a good reaction. Why did you see that? Uh, did you see that? <laughs> Now you're, the way you're laughing, you must know something a little bit more than I do. But uh, yeah, it was a it was a good reaction. Yeah. I mean, is that a is that a fist pump moment for the offensive line coach to see a back break through and get in the oh, clear like that? Yeah, there, there's no doubt. I mean, yeah, especially against a team that no one had run the ball against, no one had scored, no one had uh, uh, obviously gotten on the goal line this past year and had been in a goal line offense. And for us to uh, run the ball like that, yeah, that was important. Yeah. How about? back-to-back -back games with a 100-yard rusher. Yeah, that's um, important for, the, obviously, the kids to go, wow, yeah, we can run the ball. And we've had 100-yard, we've had, 100 yard, we've had two 100-yard rushers in games here. But, you know, so whatever it takes to win, that's what we're going to do. And, you know, the last two weeks, uh, ran the ball more and uh, won the game. So whatever it takes to win, at the end of the day, just win. Like Al Davis said, just win, baby. Just <laughs> win. Uh, coming into the season, the red zone was... A little bit of a, a concern, I guess, and a question, and something that the offensive line has worked to get better at. And throughout the course of these first five weeks, I've, uh, the offense has been really good at uh, scoring in the red zone. How has the offensive line continued to kind of push that issue and making sure you guys are converting in the red zone at a at a high rate? Yeah, the, we're just uh, whatever the whatever the play is, the kids have got to block it, perform at that high rate to, to get us uh, the ball in the end zone and not uh, settle for field goals. And obviously, when it's a pass, you got to give the quarterback enough time and uh, when it's a run you know you got to uh, 
block until the whistle blows, and they got to play till the whistle blows. And that's what I've been talking about: is the kids have been playing to the whistle, and that's a big key: is to keep playing, keep playing, and keep playing. But the kids have played, and obviously we've uh, talked about it, is uh, finishing uh, drives with touchdowns and not uh, field goals.